You know, if your personal life, if your personal life is not sorted, your professional life is a mess. Bye. Daar gaan hij nou forever zijn. And look what we have here. His name, the mercy of the king has brought us near. Two o'clock in the afternoon. After I spent two hours in trying to repair a broken down motorhome. That's a frog catching insects here at the ladies' bathroom in Kruger National Park, just outside the main door. Wow, beautiful video. It's a Sunday. I'm pretty sure of that. I was told twice this morning. This is our third week in the, on safari here in Kruger National Park. I've said to you in the past, there is no real success recipe apart from early morning and late afternoons. And then still you have to be very, very lucky the cats in this three weeks we saw lions twice both of these uh, occasions the lions was very far yesterday we missed a leopard with seconds the leopard was on the move crossing the road and then when going into the field she's gone in any case, we left the Balule at 7 o'clock this morning. It took us about uh, 35 40 minutes to pitch camp. Let that be a lesson to you. Forget this. I nearly talked bad on the Sunday morning. The sales pitch of seconds to put up a, a awning, seconds to do this, two, three minutes to do that. That's BS. That do not exist. I'm sorry. Well, we are here on the gravel road on the way to Satara. We have a 127 kilometer gravel road. Yeah, there is an asphalt between Willifans and Satara. There's an asphalt. But that's for you guys, city guys with the BMWs and that expensive land cruisers, that expensive Ilux, you travel on the asphalt because you cannot afford to have dust on it. You look here at the back. And this is how the front looks like. 
beautiful, huh? The grass, grass fields of uh, Kruger National Park. So if you haven't made wrong decisions, <laughs> you haven't lived. You have to pay school fees. Doesn't matter if you are in your own business, if you are employed by a private company, a, per, a, a corporate world, if you have not made mistakes or error that has costed you, costed you money or costed you uh, relations or costed you have paid a price, certain price to it, then you haven't lived. So that is the human being. We're making wrong decisions. We're making mistakes. Learn from it. It's not a mistake. It's experience. And experience you cannot buy with money. And experience you cannot study from a university. Beautiful scene here in the bush. There are no other gods who can match the matchless king. Let them declare what tomorrow bring, but there's no other. Southern ground on board. That's the correct thing. Well, let me find it. Let me find it. Is it? There it is. There it is. Can you see the hyena? The spotted hyena running here on the road. Right in front of us. And this is the water buck. A beautiful animal. And this is the the female. Let me show you the male. There he is. Part of the sunset here in Africa. Ooh, beautiful afternoon was a hot day again. It is now exactly 6 p.m. Let's make a U-turn. We have to get back in the camp before dark, 6.30. There's a custom and uh, a general approach worldwide. The start of a new year, it's the time to then set goals. Before you do that, how many of the 2023 goals have you met? Have you achieved? Of 2022, of 2021, how many have you achieved? You have to consider the past and measure yourself and the successes, the success rate of achieving goals. 2024 must be the watershed year for you. Watershed is if you have a, a, a range of mountains this side of the mountain the rain is flowing in this direction this side of the mountain the water is flowing that to that direction so it's, it will take serious consideration serious decisions to improve on your failures and to build on your successes so 2024 must be the watershed year where you tell yourself you will improve. Improve in yourself, your market value. You have to learn new skills. You have to develop yourself. You have to learn how to deal with people. 
If you cannot deal with people, what are you doing on earth? The earth is filled with people. Seven billion of them. So start with yourself. Forget the finger pointing to others. Start with yourself. After you have looked at your development, your market value, you can only earn high salaries, good salaries, if you are performing a function that deserves that money. If they pay you peanuts, then you are a monkey. How do you get out of the monkey peanut situation? Is by developing yourself. Nobody is going to take you to a college, to a university, uh, to uh, give you money, give you a, a, study, a, a, a study loan. You have to do it yourself. A effort. It's going to take an effort. It's going to take time from you. The money part is the small part. But you have to, this year, have to improve your skills, your value, by learning new trades. Maybe you are already qualified, you already have engineering, a mechanical engineering degree. That's not good enough for a manager, for a director. You have to combine that with finances, financial management. You have to combine that with project management. You have to combine that qualification with human resources. You cannot only rely on your, on your uh, civil engineering degree and you want to reach the top. Then secondly, your health, your eating habits, smoking habits, drinking habits, health. You know, if your personal life, if your personal life is not sorted, your professional life is a mess. Sort out your private life. Start with yourself, then your family. Wait, wait, let me drink a glass of water. Six o'clock in the morning, and these are the anti poaching squad. Rhinos and uh, in the last year elephants also. The eastern part of the world. They believe rhino horn will help their libido, their sex drive. Unbelievable. And we in South Africa is paying the price. By the thousands of rhinos getting killed every year. And this is the Cory Bastard.
Amazing, amazing. Africa bush at its best. Hello, hello, I'm back. <clears throat> Outside here. A lot of elephants at the waterhole. It's dark, I cannot uh, record the video. So it's a beautiful night sounds listening to the elephants. Uh, where were we? Oh yes, family. You as a man, you are responsible, accountable for your family. If you are not capable to uh, manage finances, then you give it to your wife. If you are not capable of manage the, the house, the household, then you give it to your wife. Work together. Doesn't mean you are the specialist and the perfect perfection in everything. Work together, gentlemen. So your family, your wife, your children. Motivation to them. Motivation to your wife and your children. Support. Once you start giving, st once you start energy flowing out from you, you will receive it in tenfold back. You as person will feel more valuable. How do you measure if your personal life is in uh, a good stand? You know the law of physics. Okay, not all of you are, are, are uh, chemical engineers or mechanical engineers. The law of physics say the following. For every action, there is a reaction. If you push against a wall, the wall's reaction is to push back. Once you overcome that force and you can demolish the wall, the reaction of that wall is to crumble. Now you might ask me now, what is, <laughs> what does that to do with uh, relation? Sir, if your wife reaction is strange, is not so nice, look at your action. If your children reaction, what you are getting back is negative, is attacking is is not so good look at your action you man men you are the action of life and from that action you will receive a reaction not only at your family at your work spot also if you hate your boss if you hate uh, your colleagues if you don't like your job that's the reaction that you are receiving look at your action Improve on your action. If your relation with your wife is in troubled waters, thunder uh, weather like outside, you and your wife needs to sit down, calm down, and realize what is important in life. Separation is so easy today. Nobody win. And then of course faith doesn't matter which domination your faith faith in yourself faith in God you have to work on that huh? that helps you through these difficult times it helps you faith guides you faith provides you with self-confident that you are taking correct decisions that uh, there is this little hammer here behind your ear that is telling you this is wrong this is a wrong action this is a wrong decision this is the wrong direction why is your wife not loving you anymore why is your wife uh, having an affair what action from you has created that reaction how do you treat your girlfriend your mistress treat your wife the same way and you will see the reaction wake up my friend wake up life is a is a game and you have to know the rules of the game to win the game well this is life breakfast we left camp early this morning look here in the front is the lion male let me first show you the elephants
Oh yeah, I'm not supposed to talk about uh, faith and Bible and I am challenging you. Take that Bible. As a Christian, I know the Bible. As 22 years in Saudi Arabia, I have studied the Quran and the Bible and compared it. Very interesting. But let's go back to the Bible. You take that Bible and I, this is a challenge that I'm putting to you now. You show me one person in the Bible that had a nice and jolly time. You can start from Abraham, Saul, Moses, Joshua, all, oh, everyone chosen by God. King David. Go and read King David's story. You think he had a jolly time and a fun time and everything was honky-dory? Go and read the, the books Ruth and Esther and see how difficult those ladies, those women of the, the Bible had in their, in their lives and how God is always in control. You think he's not in control? Because you cannot hear. You don't listen. You have all this long list of demands. Demands. Stop with your demands. Reset your life. Before you set up all these new goals. You want the new car and you want the new house and you want this. Reset your life and start with the basics. It is uh, 2 p.m. and it's 45 degrees. One would expect that people with grey hair, higher age in life, has brains, has learned all these campers, direct sun ca camping. It is unbelievable. Show you. Age doesn't mean you've got brains. Here after 6 o'clock in the morning. We're expecting a 41, 42 degree again today. Beautiful, huh? The scene here in front of us. Look at this beautiful scene here this morning. Elephants in this uh, pool. In South Africa we were all refer, refer to it as a dam. Where is that baby? And look at this two youngsters. Really having fun here in the in the dam this morning. Let's close the subject. Oh yeah, I went for a shower. Um, it's about 9 p.m. We quickly had a light dinner. I make the dinner because I want to spoil my wife. Have you spoiled your wife recently? Have you spoiled your children? Not with money. Spoiling and support is not money, sir. It's what's coming out of your mouth. It's the motiv motivation. It's your action. You know, I was 57 years old. That's 10 years ago. When I completed my master's degree. How old are you? When have you studied? When have you stopped studying? When you left school, when you left university, when you left college, or never. How do you want to develop yourself? You don't even have to go to specialists and pay money. There is books, sir. There is on the internet so much information. But you have to devote time. You have to take a decision.
to improve. You have to take a decision to improve the relationship in your in your house. Everything you have to do, do it with pride. First, do it for yourself. Don't expect kiss kiss, mm, pat on the back for everything you do. Forget about that. That's your job with your wife and your children. They must have your support. Another one. They've got books of blood and hate. By their God, they taught to slay. But God so loved the world.